Hey everybody, it's Natalie. We're just gonna give a couple minutes for people to jump on and I'm gonna talk about a few housekeeping items um, while we wait for people to get on there. So if you're here, uh, if you're joining us at any point, I want you to drop an emoji below to tell me how you're feeling today, what's going on. Um, please have, we're, we're super happy to have you guys here to join us. I We are going to be talking about mental health and wellness resources today. Um, my name is Natalie. I am the social media manager here at Reachability. And uh, today we're gonna be covering, like I said, mental health resources. And I have a few things I wanna talk about first. So, um, hey Ashley, put an emoji below, tell me how you're feeling today. I wanna, I wanna see how everyone's doing. Um, before we get started. So a couple housekeeping things. The first one is we have a winner for our bright side draw. So if you don't know, if you like and share and watch our bright sides every day, uh, you're actually entered in when you share it to and comment uh, to win a gift card. So we have a first winner, which is Mary McKenzie. So Mary, congratulations uh, and thank you for participating with reachability and we are going to have a, a gift card sent out to mary so everybody please make sure you're liking and sharing all of our bright side videos um they're on every day at 10 a.m and they are intended to be a bright spot in your life to cheer you up to cheer you on so please uh, have a look and we'll be more than happy to give away some gift cards just one sec i'm gonna have to re-plug this in just a moment for technical difficulties. <laughs> Hi, Darren. I'm great. How are you? Drop an emoji below and let me see um, how you're feeling today, Darren. I want to get everybody to drop some emojis. Let's have some fun. Um, Deb is going to be in the comments. She's my colleague, the wonderful the wonderful Deb. She is going to be responding uh, to your comments if I can't see them in time. The other thing I want to make sure everybody knows about, there's going to be a lot of phone numbers, a lot of websites, a lot of links that I talk about today, but don't worry. We're going to post them in the comments, but also when I send out the email today, our reach up email with our action in it, I'm going to have a link to all of these resources in that email. So you don't have to worry about writing it down really quick or or capturing it. We will make sure they're in the comments and also we'll go in the email. If you don't receive our emails yet or you're not a participant in ReachUp, please do hashtag ReachUp in the comments and we will reach out to you. So really excited to be here today. We've been through a lot as a province. There's There's been a lot going on and that can be really difficult to navigate because not only are we all dealing with such a difficult circumstance, but you can often feel like you're deal dealing with it alone because we're, ice we're in isolation. So I wanna talk to you guys about mental health resources and supports in the community, um, but also resources and support that you can do yourself. So we've got some tools here that you can engage in regularly. And at the end, I'm going to do a little activity with you guys uh, just so that you can experience, experience some wellness and some meditation for yourself. If you never have before, it is a really quick exercise we're going to do at the end. So I'm going to start with, I did print it off. Now I have to apologize. I don't have a fancy printer at home, but this is an amazing resource and it will be posted in the comments and it again the the email that goes out in the afternoon it will be in there as well so i want to go through some of these mental health resources that we have specific to nova scotia um, because it's really important for you to know where you can go if you need help and what kind of help you're going to receive and, and and what you need so the first one on the list we have is the mental health mobile crisis team that's the Mental Health Mobile Crisis Team. So what do they do? Um, they have a toll-free number and a local number, and they are there to help intervene um, if there is crisis support for children, youth, and adults in the province. So I'm just going to show, I hope it shows up here pretty good. It will be in the comments, but the number is 902-429-8168.
or one 429 which is the toll-free version. So that is there to help you. The other thing that is on this list number two is the kids' help phone. They are available via text message and via phone. So that's really great, especially for youth if they're not sure if they're if they're comfortable on the phone or talking, or even if they need privacy and they there's someone in their lives they don't want to hear them having this conversation. Um, they can text the word connect, so that's C-O-N-N-E-C-T, and you're going to text that to 686868 for kids help phone if you need assistance in that area. Their phone number is 1-800-668-6868. So they're available 24-7, totally private, judgment-free zone for youth and for children. Um, and they're there, to, they're there to help. So the other thing I want to mention about that is if you're an adult watching this, even just write it down and put it on the fridge. You, if you Just so it's there. It's a great tool to have in your home for youth, if you live with youth. Um, just put it around the house because then you know that they're going to see it and they have access to it. And as we all know, sometimes, you know, teenagers don't want to have those big conversations about feelings. So it's great just to have it around the house. I'm just going to take a quick check into the comments to see what everyone's saying. La, 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 la. Hi, Raina. Hi, Darren. I know the rain, but we did have a beautiful weekend, so that's nice. Good, I'm glad that you like interacting with us. I see you, Bill. And remember, put some emojis down there, guys, so let me know how you're feeling, because I want to be able to engage and see what's going on with you. Because you can hear me, but I can't hear you. <laughs> so going down this list, um, we have mental health and addictions intake service. So that's part of the health authority. And so if you need help with a mental health or addictions concern, you can call them at 1-855-922-1122. And again, I just want to remind everybody that I am giving out a lot of phone numbers and information during this talk of resources, but we will have them in the comments. And we also will uh, send them out at five o'clock so that you have a full list. Let me see here. Yes, I, I heard that as well, that the Kids Help Phone is also taking fielding some adult calls. Um, and Laura, I see that you're stressed. I think that's a really common feeling right now. And I hope that maybe some of the resources and the exercises that we're going to go through today can maybe help relieve some of that stress for you. And if not, I want to also remind everybody to reach out, okay? So if you are stressed, if you are feeling unwell, if you just need somebody to talk to, remember to reach out to us, to a community member, and to those around you, because now is a time when we really need each other. Um, the Canadian Mental Health Association, CMHA, is providing non-clinical mental health psychosocial support throughout COVID-19. So that means it's sort of like um, a non-clinical counselor who, you, who can talk to you. And their phone number is 1-877-466-6606. Let's take a look here. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> yes, I wish the rain would watch the virus today too. I'm ready for that warm weather. And then there is also a Healthy Minds Patient Navigator. So um, that's sort of an innovative, it's like a cooperative that they can help uh, guide you to different resources. And their phone number is 902-404-3504. And number six on this list is the Strong Strongest Families Institute. So if you are uh, struggling with support for your children or teenagers or youth, it can help um, help give you skills to overcome anxiety. They have parenting support. They have a variety of programs. And of course, at any time, if you're not really sure what to do or how to get a resource or you need help, you can contact 211. So all you do is dial 211 from your phone and that will connect you with um, a call center that is can give you all kinds of resources in Nova Scotia. So I'm just going to show you this great infographic again. And again, this will go out in the email and there will be stuff in the comments. Okay, 
Let's see, Reyna. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're feeling gloomy. Oh, I'm so glad that you find Reach Up helpful. That that makes me really happy. I actually find it helpful too because I love connecting with people. And with our office closed, I know a lot of the staff is really missing that. So this program is giving us a great opportunity. And, and I hope you tune in every day so that we can continue to help you. Just give me one second. Okay. We're having having a tech okay so I want to talk about resources for teens and children because having conversations about COVID-19 can be really difficult you know young kids understanding why they can't go outside and play with their friends can be hard so I want to let you guys know that Sesame Street the beloved Sesame Street has actually done uh, a great job they are doing videos featuring Sesame Street characters in language that children can understand and frankly adults can enjoy it too because I, in doing research for this live I actually <laughs> was watching the videos and felt really good so um, there is a video on breathing for for small children. Uh, they have Grover who explains distancing and what that means far and away. They talk about um, all kinds of different activities. They have story time. It's a really great resource that is age appropriate. So the link will be in the uh, below and again in the reach up email, but it's www.sesamestreet.org slash caring. So I think that that would be really helpful for a lot of people and even if even just for you it doesn't have to be for children in your life it can also be for you because every you know Sesame Street is great who doesn't love Elmo let me just see I see a few comments here do, 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 do. yeah Ray you saw the um, you saw the bright side this morning of Mara's video yeah do some art and I just want to quickly mention and this is for teens this is for kids this is for adults um, if you're going to do some art today, that's amazing. And always remember, if you're taking up a new hobby like art or music or anything like that, you can do it. It doesn't mean you have to be good at it. I am a terrible singer, but I love to sing because it makes me feel better. You don't have to be good at everything right away to enjoy it and, and derive joy from it. So keep that in mind, Reina. That's awesome. So taking a look here, teens and kids. Um, there is another website called teenmentalhealth.org, and this is a really great website, um, not only for teenagers and for them to access some great supports and resources for their mental health, but also for parents in learning how to talk to their kids and to talk to teens about mental health and what's going on. They have a section on their website right now. Um, which is specific to talking to children and teens about COVID-19. So some of, excuse me, some of the things that they recommend are, um, you know, keeping the tone curious, keeping things relaxed when you're having these conversations, checking in with your child regularly, um, and asking them how they're doing, keeping it light, keeping it fun, but also making room for some of those hard feelings that are going to come up during this time. Um, follow their lead. Allow your children's questions and comments to guide the information you share with them during difficult times. And that can also help keep things developmentally appropriate uh, for them, you know. Make sure you're validating their feelings. And this is good for anybody. Like, these tips aren't just for teens and kids, honestly. Um, so saying words like, it's okay to feel this way. I understand how you feel. That is really hard. I totally get how hard it is to be away from your friends right now. Um, try to minimize oversharing. So not too much info um, and too much news and all of that. It can be really exhausting, not only for adults, but for teens and kids. And focus on what your teen can do to help. So maybe make a family project or talk to them about how they can give back within their community. Um, a great thing as well is, you know, to send them funny pictures and encourage them to uh, connect with people in other ways. So have an online play date using Zoom or I have an example here. 
of what my sister did, which I thought was fun. Now, I have featured this before, and you should all know that now my nephews think that they are famous. They are famous because their art was on TV with Auntie. So they made me more art. And this actually, it totally makes my week when my sister drops these off. And it's something great you can do with your family and give to neighbors, or you could drop them off to, you know, other people, just no contact, or even just take pictures of them and send them to people anywhere. So they made me this, I love dogs. And this says, it's been rough not seeing you. Super cute. And then, oops. We have, this is, this is one is from Noah, and this is him and me playing outside when quarantine is over with lots of birds in the sky. And this is from Gabe, and this is his happy garden that gives him joy. So doing things like that with, um, with your kids, with teens is a wonderful idea. And again, all of these links are going to be below and uh, also in the five o'clock email. Excuse me, I'm just look, taking a look at my notes. So now I'm gonna talk about, we've talked about some community resources and now let's talk about how you can face this at home. So how can we work at home to, uh, to, to really get through this. So there is a guy, his name is Dr. Russ Harris, and he came up with a great acronym called FACE COVID. And it's a wonderful thing. You can write it down, you can put it on your fridge, you can talk to your kids about it, you can do whatever that can help you, us cope during this time. So let me see if I can, through the magic of television. So this is the acronym for FACE. So F is focus on what you can control. So we can't control everything in this big life. We can't control that we're dealing with a pandemic. We can't control the things that are happening around us, but we can look at what we focus on, what we can control. So we can control complying and social distancing. We can control um, washing our hands. We can control staying at home. So that's good, that's F. A is acknowledge your thoughts and feelings. So if you have feelings that are, are of sadness, of, of anxiety, of worry, really sit with those and feel it and acknowledge that they're there. Um, C is come back into your body. So it's really easy for us to feel so stretched thin and so spread even though we're at home. If you take a piece of pizza dough and you hold it and you, you stretch and you stretch and you stretch it, you're going to get holes in that dough. Well, that's just like how we are, right? So you have to kind of bring yourself back to center and come back into, into your body. Um, engage in what you're doing. So be present, be mindful, uh, and really enjoy coloring, enjoy taking some pictures to send to people. So that's face. COVID is committed action is, or sorry, the C in COVID is committed action. And that means sort of committing to taking care of yourself and to those around you. O is opening up. So that can be opening up to others and telling them how you feel about things or listening to how they feel. Focusing on your values. So focusing on things that bring you joy and your family and how great those values are. I is identify resources. So if you're watching this video right now, you are already participating in this because you are looking for some great resources for yourself and for your community. And that's really important to know where to go in these times. And D is for disinfect and distance. So make sure you're washing your hands, make sure you're disinfecting things and make sure you're keeping your social distance. I'm just going to take a look at the comments. Now, there is a great short video that talks about face COVID and all of those great things that can help you cope during this time. It is linked below, so and I will send it again in the email today. So please make sure you have a look at that if you have any questions. It is a great little video to help people cope. So we're going to scroll down here. I'm just taking a look. Um, another thing that's really important during this time that I want to talk about is being kind to yourself. 
So self-compassion, that is a resource that you can bring to you and others around you. So you might say, Natalie, and, and this is a brief overview, by the way, this is, we're not getting super into the details, but these are some great, like brief overview for, for resources. And you might be saying, Natalie, what the heck is self-compassion? I want you to think of it like this. If something was going on with your best friend and they were struggling and they were having a hard time, how would you want them to be treated? How would you want their situation to be handled? You would want kindness. You would want them to be taken care of. You would want all of those things for them. Self-compassion is taking all of those things and giving them to yourself. It involves acting the same way towards yourself when you're having a difficult time or if you fail at something or you notice something even you don't like about yourself. Maybe you you yelled and you didn't mean to yell. You, you notice these things and you give yourself compassion. Okay? Sometimes the answer to that is really simple and sometimes it's more complicated. Right? Right now in the, the situation we're all experiencing, it's it's really common to feel like, when am I going to feel normal again? When am I going to feel less afraid, you know? And we have this initial push to be really productive and like, I'm gonna come out of co this quarantine with a six pack and a new business and a new life and I'm gonna look like a supermodel and I'm gonna know how to bake homemade bread and I'm gonna know how to do all of those things. But that can put a lot of pressure on ourselves, right? You have to remember, you're not just at home. You're at home during a pandemic and during a crisis, and we need to be kind to ourselves. So below, I'm, we're going to post a really good link about self-compassion and some self-compassion guided meditations that you can do at home to really sort of help yourself to be kind to yourself. And another article that's sort of related to this we're going to post below is about checking in with your body. So, you know, our physical bodies and how we feel physically, um, you know, that can really affect our mental state and vice versa. There's a really, there's a mind body connection. And so this article is great in talking about um, how to check in with your body and how to be kind to yourself during this time. So we're going to link those below and I'm also going to have again all of these if you don't if you're not signed up with us just put hashtag reach up in the comments and we will reach out to you to get um, some of that information. So I want to talk about a few apps that you can get for your phone. Um, you can use them online I think that can really help you um, and be great resources for anxiety for stress and for really sort of helping yourself self-center and to regulate. So the first one is called MindShift. It's um, an app by Anxiety Canada and they have some really great therapeutic tools on there. There's meditation, there's um, all kinds of different things and we're going to link it below and it's free. So that I tried to pick apps that were free. Um, or made by other nonprofits because, you know, we don't need to worry about spending money on apps right now. Um, another one that is really good for families is called Smiling Mind. Their app is really centered towards families. It's actually from Australia. It's really cool. And we're going to link these below, so don't worry. And then another one that is great is actually created from by Veterans Affairs in the States uh, for people with PTSD, but it can be used on a whole, a whole wide range for people who um, might have anxiety or are stressed or need help learning mindfulness tools. Uh, and it is called the ACT Coach app, and it's free as well. There's lots of helpful tips and hints in there. And um, again, they're going to be linked below. Now, the other thing I want to mention is if you don't, if you don't have a phone or something that can use apps, but you are watching me, so you have the internet, hopefully, um, there are some great resources on YouTube. In my newsletter, that if you're not signed up for, you really should, um, I put one in every week, a, a visual or a, a video from YouTube that is a guided meditation or something on mindfulness. 
and we actually have uh, I actually have a link here we're gonna put below we have great great on our staff we have Amanda who is an, our mindfulness expert and she did a great grounding meditation and she also has done a visual meditation for us through our bright sides so we're gonna link those below as well for you so that you can take some time to unwind and relax and breathe because that can be a challenge when we're all dealing with with stress so I wanted to tell you guys I want to talk about I feel like I've done a lot of talking I need a sip of water hold on mm -mm -mm -mm. let me see I'm just taking a look at the comments just taking a little break from and we're gonna move on here See, Deb, you are doing a fantastic job at responding to these comments. My birthday actually came up backwards when I say things, but my day is good. I'm glad that your day is good, Darren. Let me see. <laughs> you know what? The, I see you talking about like getting your, your girlfriend or your partner to do it with you. The funny thing about that is if you have somebody in your life or that you live with and you're not sure if they'd be into it or they or you say, oh, I, honey, our darling or child, I want you to do this great meditation with me. At first, sometimes people can be like, I'm not doing that voodoo or that's just not for me or they don't think they can do it. But there's a really big power in modeling behavior. So if somebody sees you engaging in meditation or, you know, using one of the apps or doing a calming therapy, if they see you doing this and they go, that really seems to be working for Darren. That really seems to be working for him. I can see that he is really less anxious and this is helping. They might be more interested in sort of participating even if at first they weren't so sure. So kind of keep that in mind. Do what's right for you and oftentimes other people will sort of jump, hitch their wagon to yours if they see that something's working. And that actually is a great segue into the next thing I want to say. And I am gonna go a little over my time. It's supposed to be 30 minutes, but I'm a talker. Story. Um, <laughs> and that is the power of perspective. So when we're talking about resources, when we're talking about what we can control in our lives, when we're using these apps and these meditations and we're watching this, we really want to garner, we want to, we want to hold on to the power of perspective. So I'm going to use an analogy, bear with me, and I really want you to think about it, okay? You're holding a cup of coffee. I've got my cup of coffee. We're gonna, we're gonna use our visual board here, hold on. I've got a cup of delicious, hot, yummy coffee. And if you're Natalie, it's a French vanilla latte, okay? We've got our coffee here. And then someone bumps into you and you spill your coffee. And your coffee's everywhere and you're a little annoyed because you just spent six bucks on it and you don't want your coffee spilled, okay? If I came up to you and I said, why did you spill your coffee? You'd say, Natalie, it's because this person bumped into me and I spilled my coffee. But that's not why you spilled your coffee. No, no. You spilled your coffee because you had coffee in your cup. Okay? I'm a really bad colorer when I can't see what I'm doing. If there had been water in the cup, you would have spilled water. If there had been tea in the cup, you would have spilled tea, okay? So we have to ask ourselves what's in our cup. And how this relates to life is that when life comes along and shakes you or knocks into you and makes you spill your cup, when it gets really tough, we have to ask ourselves, what is in that cup? Is it anger? Is it bitterness? Is it harsh words and reactions that are gonna spill out everywhere? Or is it joy? Is it gratefulness? Is it peace? Is it humility? We control what is in our cup. And when life comes along and shakes us and makes us spill our coffee or tea or makes us spill our cup, we can choose to spill out forgiveness. We can choose to spill out joy and words of affirmation, or we can choose to spill out you know, anger or bitterness. And so I really want you to think of that analogy because it's so important when we think about perspective. 
And that is going to lead us to a fun little activity we're going to do together, okay? So, and then, th so this, this, la, 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 I can speak English sometimes. Okay. Sorry, I'm just picking it up here. I'm getting tongue-tied from all of the talking. Okay, so we're going to do a little guided meditation. It's only going to be a few minutes. It's sort of a mini version of what you'll see in some of our bright side videos, um, in some of the meditation apps that we've linked. But I really, for those of you who are here with me right now who haven't experienced it, I really just want to give you a little taste of what it could feel like and how it might benefit you. So, the first thing I want everybody to do, okay, is I want you to take a really deep breath in, and I want you to place your hand on your chest, okay? I want you to feel your breath, putting your hand on your chest, is like, it's like giving yourself a big hug. If you ever feel really anxious and stressed and sort of like that, that pizza dough I was talking about, like you're being pulled apart and the holes are forming, put your hand on your chest because it'll instantly ground you. It will bring you into your body and help you feel, help you feel safe. So if you're comfortable, I want everybody to close their eyes. And as you breathe, I want you to feel your breath and maybe even your heartbeat through the hand on your chest. Okay, let's do it together. We're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out. Now, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think of what is giving you stress and anxiety. What is causing you to feel overwhelmed, sad, or even fearful? These feelings can be very overwhelming, so let them come in and out of your body freely. And as you think of them, I want you to assign them a color. So I want you to visualize and think of the color that's going with this negative feeling, okay? So for me, my negative feeling, I am going to pick the color. I don't know if you can see it here or if your eyes are closed or not, but here's the visual. I'm picking the color green and orange, because, okay? These are the colors I am visualizing when I am thinking of the stress and the anxiety that I'm dealing with right now, okay? Now we're gonna take a deep breath and I want you to visualize all of the positive and joyful things in your life. Being happy, being calm, feeling safe. I want you to visualize these things while your hand is still on your chest and I want you to focus on that positivity and think about what makes you happy and whole. And then I want you to assign this feeling a color. I want you to think of a color that makes you feel positive and I want you to attach all of those happy, positive feelings to this color. So my color is gonna be pink. You can pick whatever color you want. My color is going to be pink, okay? So now, I want you to think and focus on that color you picked as your calming color. And I want you to focus on it and breathe in really deep, thinking of that color. You're breathing all of that color in, the calmness, the clarity, the positivity and the harmony into your body. And as your chest rises, you're bringing in these positive thoughts. So we're gonna breathe in. And then as we exhale, we're going to think of the color that represents anxiety and stress. And as we push that breath out, we are going to think of the color, for me it was orange and green, and we are going to push it out, and we are going to breathe out the negativity, the worry and the anxiety and the stress of the day. As we breathe in, we're breathing in all of that calming color and all of those great, positive, calm feelings. And as we breathe out, we're letting go of all of the stress and anxiety that we feel. So that is just a quick little meditation that you can do anytime. 
breathe in all of the calmness and the color that you chose and breathe out all of the anxiety and stress, visualizing that color, visualizing it. And that can help you. And you can do that anywhere, anytime. You don't have to speak it out loud. You can just breathe. So we're almost finished now. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. I went over my time, but if anybody who knows me knows that I am a talker. So I want everybody to remember, if you are overwhelmed, reach out. If you are scared, reach out. If you need support, reach out. If you need help finding resources in your community or there's somebody that you feel you need to talk to, reach out. And if you feel alone, remember that you are never alone and always to reach out. Thank you so much for being part of my workshop today. If you're signed up for the Reach Up program, you can complete your workshop by doing today's action. So today's action, or this for, for me, from me, sorry, is going to be to try meditation. Okay, using one of the apps, a YouTube link, or you can even replay the one that I just did once the video is posted. I want you to try it. Just give it a go. And then I want you to email us at reachup at reachability.org and let us know how it worked for you. How did you feel? Did you like it? What was it like trying something new? You can email your response again to reachup at reachability.org. Or you can tell us your answers by calling our voicemail at 902-429-5878. Just make sure if you do leave us a voicemail that you leave us your name and phone number so we have a point of contact. And if you are not signed up and want to join us, you can also email reachup at reachability.org. Or again, you can respond in the comments with hashtag reachup. And you can always direct us you, oh, sorry, you can always direct message us on Facebook to ask us about anything. Remember, we want to hear from you. We want to engage. We want to, we miss you guys. <laughs> and um, tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our morning show, The Bright Side. And don't forget, uh, it's a little beam of sunshine to start your day. And um, if you share it, like it, comment, you can be entered to win a gift card. And we'll be back here tomorrow at one o'clock for another Reach Up workshop. So thank you so much again, everybody, for joining me. I hope these resources uh, are helpful to you. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'm just going to check and see if there's any questions here that I can respond to before I leave. Let me see. No. I'm just taking a look because I have to scroll. Um, but I'm bum. You're welcome, Terry. Where's Darren? I saw him. I saw you, Darren. I saw you had something to say. I'm just looking for your comment. Do, 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 do. Yes. Think and remember, everybody, I want you to think about what is in your cup. You control your cup and you control what spills out of it. My cup has water in it right now, but it also, my cup has optimism for the future. It has hope that when this is all over, we can be with our friends again. It has positive vibes in my cup. So <laughs> what is in your cup? Hmm? I want to hear about that. Okay. I think that's it. I think I've answered all the questions. So thank you all for being here with me today. And again, have a great one. Bye.